So today's job is a little bit more of an exciting one for me and hopefully a better mod. Um, I'm replacing the standard strut brace on the front of the car, uh, which will make things a lot, lot easier for me to get to my adjusters on my suspension. So I've gone out and I've bought not the uh, IL Motorsport one, I've bought the Ultra Racing one. Um, so far, looks pretty good. Um, it's a shame they didn't give me any blanking plugs to put in here, so I might get the guys at work to machine myself up a blanking plug. Um, but, yeah, not too bad. It's light as anything. Um, yeah, hopefully things will be much better for me. So now, what we're gonna do is remove this, remove that, remove that, move the metal plate under here, move the metal plate under here. Now, unlike the IL Motorsport one, there is no instructions. So we just have to work through it and go from there. The suspension bolts, 45 Newton meters. Um, so they've also given me a load of nuts, washers and bolts. And, um, I guess I'll figure out where they go in due time. The only problem I've encountered so far, which you probably can't see, just there is a bolt. Now that bolt holds the ECU bracket in place and without undoing that, I can't remove that. So I've got to undo that to loosen this off to take this bracket out. And on the other side, fairly easy to be honest, two 10mm nuts that takes this off, 12mm nuts take that off, these are 14s, and a fir tree just here uh, to pop out. And once you get those out, we are almost ready to put it all back together which was very very quick and easy and there we go that's out that's out it's clipped out all ready to go now next job fit it well, that's it fitted in place, and that obviously explains what all of the uh, extra nuts and bolts are for. There's no bolts for here. There's no bolts for there. There's no clipping points for that. Uh, but they're in, and that's on. So, and that's in place. I just guess I need to tighten everything down and then we'll see what it feels like. So I come to fit these bolts and I'm using the original OEM nuts and I'm not a great fan of this. Um, it looks like that could do with a big washer because you put that on, it's not really gonna cover the hole. So I'm gonna try and find a big washer, a stainless steel washer to fit in there because there's none in the kit. Okay. So one big M8 penny washer later, and hopefully I'll tighten up and that'll look much better. So in doing up these, you can't do them up to 45 Newton meters uh, because that's what happened. It shears, happy days. So I'm gonna have to get that repaired. Um, apart from that, I now know what the, the nuts and bolts are for. They hold these in place, um, so they're all fitted. Just got to fit the last two on this side and put that pesky bolt back in down there. And then, once I've got that little thing repaired, um, it should all be good. 
and I should know what the strengthening change will be. Hopefully, it's much better. But if nothing else, because I can now get access to my Meister adjusters, things are so much better already. So, all things considered, it wasn't actually that bad of a job. Um, the bolts were a bit fiddly and they gave me an M6 bolt and that really should be an M8 so I'll probably change that tomorrow and they've given me uh, uh, serrated nuts instead of nylocks so I'll probably change those to nylocks because otherwise they might just rattle loose and fall off uh, and likewise the same on this side however that bolt down there which you can just about see what a pain in the backside i literally had to take the battery out to do it um it just it just isn't a straight angle it's slightly off to that way so what a pain but there you go i'll figure out how to take that plate out and i will probably put some weld nuts underneath and then i can actually bolt nut and bolt straight through the top all I've got to do now is drive it and see what I think.